Queens, handsome kings, welcome to Unique and Unapologetic Tarot. How you doing, beautiful queens and handsome kings? Let's get our second part of Clue out. I got one channel message. Y'all, there is a... Oh, man, I would never think anybody would be this stupid, beautiful queens and handsome kings. There is a military person that stole another military person's identity. Government knows. <laughs> Are you in a pyramid scheme, I guess? Or you, you, you're you part of a scheme that's um, stealing money? I would suggest you turn yourself in. Hey, hey. That's the only way you're not going to get life. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know if you're supposed to turn yourself into the civilian or the military, but I, I think that I think you might want to turn yourself in before they come get you, boo. So I'm sad about that. All right, beautiful queens and handsome kings. Thank everybody for donations, buying products. Thank everybody for donations. Thank everybody for likes, shares, comments, y'all. I had an emergency and had to go get somebody. So I didn't get to get your comments. So please forgive me. I do read them, y'all. So I don't think I don't read them. I do. Sometimes I just, with this fake people, I know it's not, I'm not the only terror reader that going through it. It's fake people out here. It's kind of easier to protect ourselves. All right. Well, clue. Are we playing clue tonight? I don't know. Dining room. What's going on in the dining room? Look at that cup. Look at that cup. I always say, watch your drinks, watch your food. Somebody's going to be invited to a party. Um, I'm not saying not go to the party. I'm just saying be aware. I don't know if it's a, a birthday party, an anniversary. I don't know what kind of get-together. There's some kind of party, though. It could be just... Colonel Mustard. Mm. 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 He's a hero to the outside of the world, but someone who knows about his dark side might be blackmailing him. Now, I, we, at, we look at happy 9-11. I guess it's not happy because I didn't mean to say it like that. What I'm saying my heart goes out to people 9-11. A lot of people lost a lot of loved ones on 9-11. I don't know why I said happy. I don't know. But Colonel Mustard could be a military person, a P.I., any form of police officer, Colonel Mustard, if this is what they're blackmailing you for and you're the military person that I'm talking about because you was the one that stole somebody else's identification and the crazy, mm, whoever this military person I am talking to, they stole another military person's identity. Mrs. Scarlet. There's evidence on Mrs. Scarlet. Now, again, don't get caught up. Colonel Mustard could be anybody. He could have been in the military. He could still be in the military. He could be a PI. He could be a detective. He could be any form of police officer. That's Minty. Minty, Minty, Minty. Hmm, I see. Hey. I'm going to read Miss Scarlet. She's a stylish, charming. She's stylish and charming, but nothing but trouble. Well, there's some evidence on this stylish and charming, but troublemaker, bitter bitch. Okay? Now, this could be a lover, family, friend, business, or these people could be working together. Maybe maybe Miss Scarlett and, and Colonel must have sleeping together and she been blackmailing them. If he turn her in, she's going to tell us dark secrets. But... Yeah. living room. So there's some evidence in the living room, okay? Maybe Colonel Mustard got blackmailed in this dining room with some food or drinks, but I still say uh, there's some evidence in the living room. There is evidence on Mrs. Scarlett with her stylish self, you know? Stylish and charming, but nothing but trouble where well, that charm didn't work 
for the right department because um that charm there's evidence on her stylish charm and stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Again, take what belongs to you, what don't. Don't be trying to put your foot in the shit that don't fit. I don't get paid to be nobody's babysitter. You're grown. Look. Colonel Mustard. Okay. Freeze, put your hand up. Okay, this situation got a crooked ass military or police officer that's finna be busted. Freeze, put your hand up. They know that there has been a police officer that's been paid off. <laughs> I hear one. There's a police officer that was been was paid off that knew there was evidence and knew you was telling the truth when you went in there and reported that you was in trouble, however the trouble may be, whether it was physical or material, whether it was from a lover, family, friend, business, or all the above, there was a crooked police officer that was paid off to pro to push the shit under the rug. It also is, we got Colonel Mustard here. Uh, it could have been Colonel, or blackmail. But, or this police officer could have just, ooh, there's one police officer that you've already been in trouble for some shit before. Baby, when they take you down, uh, uh, uh. It could be also other police officers that's been trying to do some crooked shit that's been trying to keep y'all quiet. Guess what? Freeze, put their hand up. In this situation, that the poli they know about the crooked police officer or military person. And <laughs> the police is finna be pol arrested by the police. I'm gonna put that on Colonel Mustard since. Now, that could be Colonel Mustard or it could be somebody else in the police department. Don't get caught up on that. But there is a police officer or a military person that has did some crooked ass shit that was involved with your property or your money being stolen and they're going down. The police will be picked up by the police. <laughs> it is what it is. And there was also, they saying, a crooked ass police officer that was doing, that, that was paid to be the hit girl. Ooh, -wee. there was crooked ass police officer that was paid to be due to him. There was a crooked ass police officer that knew they was going to plant drugs in your car, your home, and they they knew so they knew how where to directly come get it. Mm, mm, mm. Now again, we all in different city, states, countries. Take what belongs to you, what don't. Yeah. They know about the police officer working with your family, lover, friends, business, or strangers stealing your money out the bank. Whether they was laundering your money. Ooh, somebody was laundering because they ain't what they ain't what I meant to say. Your trust funds, your inheritance, your um, insurance. Or some of these people, y'all going to find out, was even tapping into your bank accounts and your businesses. Not only did they steal your trust funds, your inheritance, uh, or life insurance, they even was tapping into your bank accounts, credit cards, stealing money out the out your bank. Mm -hmm. Some of them they go y'all they gonna find out too. They they know about them banks with them fraud ass accounts with y'all names on it, stolen identity. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I'm just channeling them as I'm talking to y'all. So again, take what belongs to you. But don't, we talk about the bitter bitches and bitter bums that try to put their foot in your shoe. So don't you try to put your foot in the shoe that don't fit. Take with blonde. Anything else we need to know about these? Let me just anything else. The bank called the police. <laughs> the bank called the police. After that audit, after that discre discrepancy, the bank called the police. 
The Mac called the police. Mm -hmm. Or the, or the bank told the police, uh, told another police department about the crooked police. Take it in for what it is. These two. <laughs> told you, somebody going to jail. Interrogation. Interrogation. Crooked police officer, military person, you will be removed from office. If you military, you will have a uh, dishonorable discharge. DNA. Removed from the office. Removed from the... I did not say somebody. They know about somebody. Identity fraud. Identity fraud. They know about somebody taking the identity of another military person. They know somebody that took your identity, my beautiful queens or handsome kings. Somebody took your identity. And it's known about the bank, whatever that audit or whatever it is, that the fake accounts, whatever they was doing, shit. The bank, this is the banker. Look, the bank didn't call the police. <laughs> the banker didn't call the police. The real police, not the quick one. Again, we don't talk bad about police officers getting bad in everything. <laughs> everything. But just like you didn't deserve no crooked ass cop or crooked ass military person fucking you over in your life, that department don't deserve it either. They don't deserve it. They're going through enough right now. Shit. They're going through all these riots and stuff. They don't need no bullshit like this to put more icing on the cake. Once a rat, always a rat. Oh, 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 oh. Let me find out the somebody's got snitched on. Once a rat, somebody was working with a rat. Somebody was working with a snitch and snitched on them. Or once a rat, always a rat. This person could have been a dirty motherfucker, and they always they always been a thief, a no good ass person their whole life. What would make anybody think they would change? My guy said both. Somebody done been riding on. <laughs> or somebody better go ride on somebody. <laughs> um, and somebody's always just been the dirty person. And <laughs> wolf, look, the wolf. You got the wolf. You got, hey, the stuff rabbit. Somebody's always been fake. Somebody's always been dangerous and fake. What else y'all got? Tunnel. In the garden. Tunnel in the garden. Hmm. Harriet Tubman said, say, good people. Who, who thought they had a hideout and they was going, hmm. Interesting. The wolf, the wolf. This is a bad ending. It's a bad ending because, see, my beautiful queens and handsome kings, this bitter bitch or bitter bomb, lover, family, friends, business, stranger, whether they was doing it one person or these people was working together, it's going to be a bad ending because, see, they thought they was going to get away with this shit. They really did. Some, yeah. Uh, bad ending, great trials, bad. The wolf is a dangerous person. A crooked ass police officer is a dangerous person. Look, somebody's gonna be interrogated. Somebody, they got uh, it. now it could be they got the evidence on Miss Scarlet. So Miss Scarlet might be the first one interrogated <laughs> and rat out everybody, or the police officer. <laughs> you go, hey. Whoever this is, and if you the military motherfucker that stole somebody else's identity, I suggest you be a rat. I can't tell you all the channel messages, but baby, you'll never get out. It would be a bad ending. Great trials. It's going to be a great trial. <laughs> it's going to be a great trial. They have enough evidence for these dangerous person or people it's gonna be a bad ending because this was a bad thing they was doing to you my beautiful queen saying that's a king look steph rabbit 
It was bad. It, it, it was ridiculous, first of all. A hollow person. Fake it. They know. My beautiful queens and handsome kings, whether this was your lover, family, friend, business, stranger, or if all these people was working together, they know these people are fake. They know that this whoever was stealing your identity was a fake person. It was not you, my beautiful queens or handsome king, while they was going to the bank. <laughs> Laugh now, cry later. While they was going to the bank, getting overseas accounts, Fake accounts. Some of these motherfuckers were so dirty, they even had an account in your name. With your name and their name on it. Mm, mm, mm. They hollow. They hollow inside. They don't have a heart. They off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of all. Fake. Fake as fuck. Just stuff rabbit. And they know. Falseness. Wasted time. A victory that feels like defeat. They thought they was going to get a victory. And they go, they're finding out, it, hey, it was a bad decision. It was a wasted time. Because what they thought they was going to get away with, they're not going to get away with. So when you get your victory, when you told this bitter bitch and bitter bum, I'm going to continue to heal. Step in my life purpose. No matter what you do, I'm going to keep on going. I'm not going to allow you to love by me, trouble by me. I'm not, hey, stay out of my space. Now, so remember, some of these people are disrespectful, and they try to come in our space when we're not around to try. Them scare tactics don't work. It actually is it, really stupid. But, okay. Falseness, right? These people is false as a fake-ass dollar bill while they was trying to steal your motherfucking dollar-dollar bills, y'all. Dollar dollar bills. Well, whoever this fake ass people, this falseness is known about. Once a rat, always a rat. They rats. <laughs> that <laughs> happy accident by chance. Look, the tunnel in the garden. Look at these carrots. Mm -hmm. Carrots harvest. Some they somebody did, did some some happy act that audit. Somebody saying the wrong thing. You knowing too much. It was a happy accident. <laughs> happy, happy, happy accident. By chance. It's by chance. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's destiny. Um, the tunnel in the garden means destiny, fate, chance, leverage, the situation, and luck. It was your destiny. It's fated that you get your money back, your property back, all the above. These people go to prison. These people go to jail, whatever it may be. It's fated. Luck is on your side. Leverage the situation. Now, when I see this leverage the situation, I think once a rat, always a rat. There's going to be somebody that's going to try to rat some to get some leverage for them to have. But that's between them. That's on them. That's on them. That's on them. Let's get one on Colonel Mustard and see what's going on with Colonel Mustard. Ha! <laughs> ha! Didn't I say Colonel Mustard could be working with, sleeping with somebody? Colonel Mustard, lack, hey, look, judgment upside down. Colonel Mustard doubted he would ever get busted because he is in some got some sort of authority they doubted it they but what really what they finding out is they had a lack of awareness that raw still who rules the world raw and whatever authority that this person holds you call upon a higher authority that's above all even even ourselves. So while they had passion to work with others against you or was having passion with somebody that was working against you, again, love or family, friend, business, <laughs> judgment's called, judgment called. Look, yeah, dangerous person. And they, and they was working with a dangerous person. 
Yeah, because let me tell you something. This third party is starting to do shit behind each other's back. Just like they was doing shit behind your back, my beautiful queens and handsome kings. This third party is starting to do reckless ass shit about behind each other's back. Hey, give me, give me one on the scarlet. Too many Indians and everybody wanted to be the chief. Look. Miss Scarlet, it's only in your peanut ass motherfucking head that you was going to be able to continue to charm everybody. There's evidence against you working with multiple people. Against a beautiful queen and a handsome king. The only way to get you. Yeah. <laughs> this shit is illuminated. It's illuminated about the confusion. The only one's confused but big headed ass Miss Scarlet. Look. Look, now, I ain't talking about blinds, because, you know, Unique don't mind being blind either, but this, this, this bitch think like a blind. Okay, okay, okay. So don't go there, because if you go there, you're just going there on your own. Look, somebody had passion to go on this journey to do this, Miss Scarlet, lovers, family, friends, business, strangers had passion to go on this journey. And take this temptation to steal your money, your property, your spiritual gifts, or all the above. You know your story. They had passion to go on a journey, to be sleeping with each other, gossiping, doing shit behind each people's back. Okay. Well, once a rat, always a rat. They all consider rats. And look, they're going to find out. Work without rewards. Work without rewards. Let's see about the police officer. Because, again, the police officer could be Colonel Mustard or it could be somebody different. Everybody's story different. That's it. Yeah. Look. Mm. Told you. The police officer. Some of these police officers was paid. Was paid off to do some fucked up shit. To make sure you don't get your gifts. But they be part of getting your piece of the pie. They was going to make sure you didn't get the piece of the pie, but they was willing to take money to block you to work with lover, family, friends, or business to get the piece of the pie, get a piece of your pie, your pie, your property to try to set you up after and, and, and <laughs> the police is going to be fucking caught by the real police, the people that take honor and wear that badge. And they deserve it, too. I hope somebody get a, a big-ass reward. See what's up with the banker, because the banker telling her, what's going on with the banker? Yeah. Boy, the police officer. Hey, look. The banker knows y'all was sacrificed. The banker knows that somebody recklessly took action to sacrifice you, my beautiful queens and handsome kings, and took your belongings, changed documents, added their name on your documents, to stole, to put it overseas or regular accounts hid. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And who was dumb enough when I told them, don't go, don't go, trying to take a whole lot of money out of the bank? Yes. Who, who was dumb enough that decided they was going to make it to the bank before noon today? Oh, completion, completion. It's going to be a completion. Mm-hmm. Completion, completion. We got this last night. My beautiful queens and handsome kings, you know ain't no ginger base. You was always supposed to have generation, generational wealth to break generational curses. There was demon and motherfuckers looking over your shoulder trying to be, take your gold and you still going to have your gold. Still have your gold. A building generational wealth but this was faded. It was your destiny to have to heal and do your shadow work and step into your life purpose. For luck, it's for your luck.
to be on your side, they never was going to get away with the shit. But we had to do our part of the work too. Because if a bitter bitch and bitter bum is willing to take from you before you step into your life purpose, the fuck you think they, hey. That everybody can't go with you, beautiful queens and handsome kings. You got to understand, whatever they took from you is nothing compared to when you stepping into your life purpose to continue whatever you had to continue to grow. Jack boys and jack girls can't go. Did you deserve what you went through? Hell the fuck no. But you had to learn to heal. So these jack boys, jack boys, I said jack boys, jack boys. So there's a lot of men involved in this situation. The, the, the bitter bitches and bitter bums, jack boys and jack girls, could, could, everybody can go with you. Lover, family, friends, or business. It, it is what it is. You have karmic lovers that come from other lifetimes. You have karmic friends, family members, strangers. They sign karmic soul ties. To stop you from your destiny. But they didn't stop shit. Because luck is on your side. It's faded for you still to have your destiny to. I always say whether you getting back what they took. Or whether you're getting back two or three times. Come on now. You going to have your shit. Yeah. Look. Mm -hmm. And whoever did that black magic. That was the stupidest shit in the world. But they don't want to listen. Some of these people are so goddamn dumb. You have told them shit you could never know about because they tried to keep you out of the situation. Yet they still believe they two steps ahead. <laughs> still believe it. <laughs> Opposive and overbearing. Opposive and overbearing. They, they, didn't, they don't see the big picture that they're not the leader. They're not the leader. They was never supposed to be on your throne. It would have been better for them bitter bitches and bitter bums to not be teaming against you, but to be trying to ride with you. But since they tried to take you out of something that belonged to you, now they're going to watch you have your generational wealth. I don't know who these bitter bitches and bitter bums think they ate. This, and they, they putting they now they making it, they, look, you heard that beat. Yeah. Interrogation. <laughs> somebody on their way to an interrogation room. Yeah. Yeah, somebody, yeah. Because they still trying to win at all costs before they get busted. Somebody on their way to an interrogation room. They still got plans up their sleeve that they going to shut. Oh, somebody want me to shut up, but they want you to shut up too. All right, I'm going to shut that bitch up. <laughs> On your mama, though. <laughs> Don't be no fool. Don't be no fool. You was a fool. Beautiful queens and handsome kings. I'm going to stop right here because this is everything I just said. You, they should have never been a fool going against you. But it's time for you to be a fool. Take a leap of faith. You don't know where you're going. But guess what? Y'all been in a whole situation for months, years of not knowing where you was going because people was blocking you, stealing from you. That's why you had to do your shadow work so you wouldn't be loved by and trauma by anymore. Take, you, that you had to do, take that leap of faith to healing yourself whether you've already did your shadow work or you're doing it now. You had to take that leap of faith to step in your life purpose. No trials and tribulations. But no matter, you had to take that leap of faith that as much as they trying to destroy your life, you will continue no matter what. Long as you breathing to fight for your life. I love you, beautiful queens and handsome queens. Look, I split the deck. Were we backstabbed? Several fucking times. Some days, some weeks, some years. But you're beautiful queens and handsome kings. You cannot be defeated. Don't ever give up. I always remember. 
as hard as they trying to destroy you, that, that you, you wake up every goddamn day working harder. To protect yourself, to step in your life purpose, cancel, clear, delete. They're nobodies. They're nobodies. They're nobodies. They're nobodies. And why they thought they were sacrificing you? They're gonna find out they really sacrificed their goddamn self. They really sacrificed yourself. Cause look, you still gonna have your generational wealth, and they're gonna find out they're still not a leader. <laughs> they're still not a leader. They never was. They was. It was never in their destiny to be a leader. Because nobody could be a leader and not see the big picture that that what goes around comes around. What made them think they could do harm to you and harm wouldn't come back to them? And I don't know who the fuck. I ain't, they said don't say nothing. I love you beautiful queens and handsome kids. I'm not holding nothing from you, but they saying don't tell, don't help these people no more. So I'm, I, I can't say that part I was going to say. Um, they know what they need to do.